Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, in today's tutorial, um, we are gonna be um, making a stats module for our weapons and fixing uh, some bugs and we're also gonna add knockback to our attacks. Alright, but first, uh, um, someone made me aware of that in our sounds module, um, that if, like, okay, um, so we play the sound here, but the sound is always just gonna stay in this position, so it doesn't follow our player. Um, that isn't really a problem um, for our short sounds, but if you have longer sounds, that would be kind of a problem, so we can just pretty much rescript this a bit. So let's get debris service here. Local debris. Debris. We get to game get service debris. And then we can just do uh, instead of this. We can just do this. Then sound uh, play. And instead of sound destroy, we're gonna do debris at item sound and uh, sound it oh yeah make sure to have uh, everything correct okay yeah and then just delete the sound after five seconds okay yeah this was just a quick fix for that but now uh, you may have noticed that um sometimes your hitbox obviously hits your um, opponent but doesn't damage him that's because um, for characters, they have accessories, as you probably may know. Um, and the, those accessories um, also trigger the hitbox. So the hitbox triggers, but then the hitbox uh, goes, um, like the fun function goes to the parent of the part that it hit and then searches for, he searches, um, here for the humanoid, but it obviously can't find the humanoid here, so it's gonna do nothing. So, what we need to do is turn off can query and can touch for um, our accessories. And we can just do that in our weapons uh, server script. So, if we go up here, we are gonna be making a new function. Oh, we're gonna use in a function that is the um, player dot character appearance loaded function. We'll connect function, and um, we're, we're using character appearance loaded. So we wait until every single accessory and stuff is loaded in, and then we just set all of their um, can query and can touch attributes to false. So let's do for I ca uh, I um, uh, accessories. X I have no. Okay, I'm just gonna do V. But you can type accessories. It doesn't matter. For I V in pairs. Character. Oops. And uh, make sure to have your character here. Then character. Get descendants. Do. If v dot parent is a accessory and v is a part, then we want to set v can touch to false and v can query to false too. Okay, that should fix this. Okay, now let's um, yeah make our stats module for our weapons. So um, go into server storage, um, open modules, and then we are um, gonna create a new module, and that is uh, not a new module but a new folder, and that is our weapons folder. And inside of that weapons folder, we want to have a module 
and that module is gonna be our uh, our weapon sets module. So just call it weapon sets, and then let's um, have a new table. So local info equals to um, square brackets and uh, not square brackets, but curly brackets, and then. Let's have our first weapon. So for me, that's my rep here. And those are square brackets. But then rep here. And then curly brackets again. And in here, we are gonna have damage. And for me, that's gonna be 10. And we want to have knockback. And that's gonna be five for me. Okay. Then let's copy this. Uh, make sure to have a comma right here. And then this is gonna be my sword. And my sword is gonna do a bit more damage and is gonna do a bit more knockback. But my sword is also, uh, also does have slower animation. Animation so that balance balances this a bit out. Okay, but now we want to ha also have a function here. So function module 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 dot um, get weapon or get stats and then we um yeah we're gonna um, search for our weapon or we're gonna need our weapon and then return uh, info Square, uh, yeah, square brackets, weapon. Okay, so when we call this function um, and pass through our weapon, we are gonna look in our info module for that uh, name of our weapon, and then we are gonna return this or this um, table. Yeah. Okay, now we can actually um, use this. So let's open our comment server. Boom, boom. And not comment server. Sorry, our hit servers. And in that hit servers, we are gonna be um, get a first of all requiring this module. So local uh, weapon stats module equals require. Replicate storage and not replicate storage. Storage, server storage. Or, yeah, server storage modules. Dot weapons, dot weapon sets. And now we're gonna use this. So, we're gonna, oops, uh, our weapon, local weapon equals to weapon sets module dot get stats. And oh, get stats. And then type in our give uh, pass through our weapon, and then our damage is uh, weapon dot damage, and our knockback is uh, weapon dot knockback. Knockback. Uh, Wait, I'm actually gonna rename this to weapon sets. Okay. Um, but yeah. So this is the table. Um, this table, and we're basically just getting those bo uh, both of those numbers out of the table here. Okay. Now we can actually re replace this. The 10 with our damage. And now we're gonna make a knockback function. So up here we can just do a function module module dot body velocity. Uh, we are gonna need our parent our parent, our human attitude part and the knockback amount and then local 
dv equals to instant dot new body velocity. I know this is um, deprecated and also not the best uh, thing to use because it's deprecated, but we are still gonna use this because I really have no idea how to um, use linear velocity easily. So yeah, but then body velocity dot max force equals to um, vector free dot new math dot huge zero and math dot huge. So we only want to move our players in the z and x um, uh, component but not in the Y component because, well, we don't want our player to go up. We only want him to go to in those directions. Okay. And uh, then body velocity dot P, that is the aggressive, uh, determines how aggressive of a force is applied in reaching the goal velocity. Um, you're gonna set this to like 50, thousand then body velocity dot velocity you could say human root part dot c frame dot look vector vector times our action knockback and then body velocity dot parent equals to parent and then let's destroy and uh, let's first of all get debris debris service up here so local Debris equals game get service debris and then debris add item baller velocity and for two a uh, zero point two seconds. Okay, we can actually uh, also pass this through. So stay time and then replace this here. Okay, now we can just call this function down here so we can have this two times for both our player and our enemy so uh, first the parent is gonna be our character's human root part and then also again our character's human root part then the knockback and set time is just gonna be two seconds and then uh, have pretty much the same, but replace this right here with enemy humanoid root part, because now we want to move the enemy uh, humanoid root part, but yeah. Okay, this should be it. Let's try it out. Yep. You can see of us uh, moving forward. Pretty nice. Okay. And our sword is also hitting yeah, every single time. That's pretty good. Um, and our sounds are also playing normally. Let's just test with our second weapon. See if everything also works fine there. You have also made my... I place like... Uh, three times more attachments on my weapon. But yeah. Okay. Yep. We can also kind of see that it's dealing more damage. And we have a bigger knockback. And yeah. That's really nice. I think the combat is really coming uh, along. That's pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Thanks for watching. And next episodes, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna start up uh, a damage module that we are gonna need way more in the future, but we are already gonna set it up. But yeah. Um, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. See ya.